These are the don'ts you don't want to do. Okay, first, you want to keep the branches from the trees away from the hoses. As the years went by, I've had brackets installed. It's a little better off. Uh, the pin here, this is a little, a little clip. Uh, when that pops out and you turn the mower, this pin will fly out and you'll drop everything. I've had it happen to me twice. So that's a little trick there. I usually paint it white, but I didn't think I'd be doing this today. Your tires, you gotta make sure you got enough air in your tires. If not, you're gonna get a flat tire and you'll be in a ditch and you gotta walk it out and it's one great big mess. When you make your turns, have your wheels even, the front and the back. Then when you make your turn, you just go from tire, inside the tire, to the other inside the tire. It's stable. If your back wheels are, are closed in and these are spread out, when you go to turn, you will topple over it. You have to make sure that you have four wheels on the ground at the same time. If you don't, when you go to turn around, it's very easy to tip the machine over. The mower, you don't mow underwater with it. It will stop the mower and the hydraulics will back up and you might blow a hydraulic. Yesterday, I don't know if you can even see this, I had this plate come off. Something as simple as this plate comes off. It came off yesterday, I had to replace it with the, with the bolts. You have to be aware of everything on the machine. It's a, it's a dollar fix, but it'll save you a thousand dollars to get the mower repaired. When you're mowing, you can adjust your mower that the chips won't fly as much. That's something that takes practice and patience doing. You have to be aware at all times. The public, they'll kind of sneak up behind you. When you go to turn, they'll be standing right there, things like that. <laughs>